Hello, everyone, and welcome to Van Tech Corner. Some time ago, I made videos about Raspberry Pi 5 runs OpenWRT snapshot. We can see that the performance will hugely improve with the USB 3.0 to 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter. I have purchased another one, and in this short video, I just want to update that the Raspberry Pi 5 can handle 2.5 gigabit Ethernet throughput smoothly. Let's check it out. Here, I got two USB 3.0 to 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters. It have different designs, but using the same Realtek RTL A156B chip. The driver package for this work came out USB Net RTL 1A15 and we need to include this on the OpenWRT firmware. There are some ways to build a custom OpenWRT firmware, for example GitHub Action, clone the source and build, or simply head into firmware selector.openwrt.org if the device is officially supported by OpenWRT. I prefer OpenWRT firmware selector because it is simple and fast. Since the Pi 5 is still in the snapshot branch, we will need Lucy as well. I will fast forward in this part as it has been explained in details in the previous video. Now, let's move to the hardware setup. The 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters will be connected to the USB 3.0 port on the Raspberry Pi 5. The onboard Gigabit Ethernet port will be connected to my PC for the initial setup. At the end, I will insert the microSD card to the Pi 5 and connect the power cable to turn it on. Very good, the PC network adapter just got the IPv4 address from the GSCP server which is running on the Raspberry Pi 5. Let's log in to Lucy's at 192.168.1.1. Let's check out if the USB network adapters were detected. I will navigate to Network Interfaces. At the Devices tab, we can see three network interfaces. Ethernet 0 is the onboard NIC. Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 are the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters converted from USB. As usual, let's create the one interface by hitting Add New Interface. Name it as 1 Protocol EGHCP, and for the physical device, it will be Ethernet 2. At Firewall tab, sign it to Firewall Zone 1. After that, hit Save and Save and Apply. Back to the Raspberry Pi 5. We have two USB network adapters and I don't know which one is Ethernet 2 or the one interface. I will randomly test with the one on the upper USB port. Let's see if the interface is up. Very good. We start to see some traffic passing by the one interface. This means the USB network adapter where the one cable connected is Ethernet 2 and the empty USB adapter is Ethernet 1. Now, I will assign Ethernet 1, which is the other USB 3.0 to 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter to the LAN bridge. After that, we should be ready for the speed test. We are good to go. Let's check out with the Internet speed test application. For the first test, I got 1765 MPPS download and 893 MPPS upload. This result confirmed that the Raspberry Pi 5 can handle a bulk gigabit speed, but we are due 2.5 gigabit per second. Let's check out with the local open speed test server. We are having around 2400 MPPS download with just 7% CPU load. The upload speed is a little bit slower, it is 2056 MPPS with 5% CPU utilization. Well then, and that's it just with the default configuration. Now, I'm going to turn on shortware of floating and packet steering to maximize the performance. Let's check it out. This time, we got 2463 MPPS download 
with just 8% CPU load. For upload, the speed is more or less the same with the previous test which is around 2000 Mbps. Running iPub 3 tests with 4 stream in both normal and reverse direction, I got 2.37 gigabit per second throughput. This result confirmed that the Raspberry Pi 5 can handle 2.5 gigabit Ethernet throughput smoothly. Well, that will be all for today. I will run the lab test with HTOP to see the lot of each single call. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.